The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. Welcome to the October 2nd, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's have an extraordinary one. The easy way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us. Not to us. That's right. We need to make that one little two by four shift. It means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out with the bulls and the bears what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But much more important than that, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in. 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Send it early. We already have about seven, eight uh, questions by email out there. I want to be able to get to each of them. Uh, put the radio show question, the subject heading, if you will, and then inside the tiger's den, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we've got the Dow off 545 points. That's off 2%. 2% to the downside in the Dow, the S&P, the NDX 100, the semis, the New York Stock Exchange. Trendies are off 2 and 6 tenths percent. Uh, you've got the spot volatility index, uh, second day in a row uh, right now, up above the 10% level. It's up 12.88%, trading out at 2095, $2.39 to the upside. Now, the key here, you don't see it on this uh, chart, but you'll see it as we turn to some charts out there. Peter wants to take a look at the VIX. Maybe what Peter knows, the spot volatility index is trading above all of its forward futures contracts. I think that takes us out to June of 2020 out there. And you know what that means. Well, if you don't know what that means, stay tuned because we're going to go show you what that means to the markets. You've got gold up 18 bucks, silver up 37 pennies, light sweet crude off a buck 16, trading out $52 in change. Uh, let's uh, skip the uh, who's leading to the upside and to the downside with so many questions in. Uh, let's go right to these markets out here. So I'm going to go through the markets uh, and we'll probably get that done during the first uh, segment or two out here and then go to the questions. Some of the questions questions may be answered during this process here. But the questions in essence, hey, what are the markets doing as we speak right now? 109 in the afternoon. Now for that, I'm simply going to use our futures contracts out there. I like vehicles that trade nearly round the clock out there. I am not that fond of those vehicles to make our trading decisions that are only trading for six and a half hours a day. You, you know what I mean out there, Jelly Bean? I think you do. If you take a look at the four quadrants out here, the ES, the NQ, the Dow, YM, and the Russell 2000, what you're going to see out here is you're going to see some hor one horizontal red line for each of these. One horizontal red line. One ping, Vasily. And uh, what we're looking at inside the ES Mini is 28, 75, 25 out there. What does the red line represent? Jay, that represents the breakout area. That is the breakout area based upon utilizing that TD setup nine count pattern out there. I have found this to be a much more versatile, provides you and I with much better information about where prices are headed to, where support and where is resistance than actually using swing points out here. I'm not against using swing points, but it's not the be all to end all. Neither is this, but this really provides us with understanding where a breakout or a breakdown move to. In a normal marketplace, price will pull back to where it broke out. You and I have been taught this by Obi-Wan Kenobi. Well, for me, for the last, I don't remember, 11, 12 years, whatever it's been, 2006, when I first uh, was introduced to uh, Tom out there. 
my first introduction uh, was by a handshake out there. And uh, and, and so, you know, it's, it's, it's Tom likes to say, hey, don't buy the breakout. Wait for price to pull back to the breakout. Well, right now, if you're still a bull out there inside the ES mini, price has tested, so far rejected that level, 28.75 in a quarter. The NQ trading slightly below the breakout level out here, 75, 68, 75 out there. We're about 10 points away uh, from uh, that level. So that is an area of support that's being tested. And the Dow Equity Futures contract, 25.910. Now, I don't know if these were hit right to the tick or not, but you're looking at it on your screen if you're watching us on Tiger TV. If you're not, you got to ask yourself, why? Why aren't you watching this on Tiger TV? You know, I get it. You're working. But, hey, you can always watch the archive of this. I know Scott will watch the archive of this. If we take a look at uh, Russell 2000, right there at support. So here's the deal. Shamil. Right now, we have the four equity futures contracts. And if we go take a look at the four daily cash indices out here, we're going to see a different picture. Which one's telling us the truth? Which one in this liar's poker game is telling us the truth? Well, you can use six and a half hours of information if you'd like, or you can use 23 plus hours worth of information. I'm going with the latter. Now, look, if price closes below these levels, and that's why it's so important. If price closes below these levels, what it signals to us is a change in trend. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So that's what the daily time frame charts for the equity futures contracts are showing us. We don't need to go take a look at profiles. We can, but price is below the daily. There's no new profiles daily or weekly for the equity futures contract. So right now, what you and I are going to recognize and realize is that the uh, four contracts have moved back to break out support. I don't know if they're going to break down, mean close and break below those levels, but they have moved to this area. What else is it that we have out here? Well. What we've got, I mentioned this in the den. This one here is for uh, Z, for John inside the Tiger's Den. He loves the market singing in the key of G. And if we take a look at our five-hour time frame chart for the ES Mini, the high out here, roads momentum indicator top back at about 9 o'clock in the morning. This is on September the 13th. And now we are down. We actually got down there at about, uh, when was it, uh, about 4 o'clock this morning is when we saw price get down and begin that uh, moving into that uh, wave number seven. That is letter G on my screen out there. What does that mean? This is coinciding right at an area of support on the daily contract out there. It means uh, be careful. It means be careful out here. It means adjust your stops. Or if you see some kind of bottoming signal, uh, consider taking the other side of the trade. What do you mean a bottoming signal? Well, if we take a look at the short termers out there, that means a 30 minute time frame chart. What we're going to see is that as we came on the air at one o'clock out here, uh, it was bar number eight of a TD setup nine count pattern. Uh, we're likely to, we've got uh, 16 minutes before this bar closed, so we're likely to get a confirmed TD setup nine count on the 30 minute time frame. Of course, price would need to close above Stevie's red line. That's 20 2890 to suggest that it has legs to the upside. Upside legs would take you up into about the, uh, looks like about 2923 or just slightly above that. That's going to be the top of the profile, the current profile, but it's also going to be the uh, the resistance line. A new green line will form there at about uh, 130.01 seconds out there. So what do we know as we summarize the first segment here? Four equity futures contracts right at breakout support. Five hour chart for the ES Mini, wave number seven. 30 minute chart, TD setup nine count. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. back uh, folks so it dows off 526 s&p 57 we're going to stay along the lines of the indices and then we'll switch over to some of the other instruments that have been requested out there what do i mean by that well uh, peter wanted to take a look at the new york stock exchange advanced decline oscillator and or i believe that he did and for good reason he, he probably follows it he recognizes that right now you've got the advanced decline oscillator with reading of minus 189 now, when you get down to the minus 150 level, that is where the market, uh, where you begin to see bounces or bottoms. Bounces or bottoms. It is also another way of saying that the New York Stock Exchange is very oversold at this stage. So as we speak right now, 119, going along with what we just looked at inside the four equity futures contracts, take a look at the oversold reading uh, inside of the uh, New York Stock Exchange advanced decline oscillator. Um, it says, OK, uh, prepare. Now, now you may say to yourself, look, Steve-O, come on, how, how do you figure that out? Did you just pull that out of your you know what? Well, the answer is no. Absolutely not. Here, let me just show you how I figured it out, how it works, you know, because you got to know the best of times, the worst of times out here. So if we go to the worst of times, let's go back to 2007. Here's what I'm going to have you take a look at. I'm going to have you take a look at the green arrows. Now, we know in 2007, the market topped right here where my crosshair was at. Uh, closing base is October 12, 2007. Now, what I want you to just pay attention to is the bottom in, in panel number two, kind of where my cursor is at. You're just going to see a yellow horizontal line that represents the minus 150 level out here. What I want you to notice... I want you to notice, and here's the green arrow, so they're all marked there as, as the advanced decline oscillator reading gets down there. Even in the worst of markets, what you saw was some kind of relief rally. Some lasted longer than the others. Let's not get too caught up into it. There's an occasional time where it was just a, a blip, such as back here on July 7th of uh, 2008 out there. Of course, the next bottom that formed out there, what you see is the price was moving lower, but the advanced decline oscillator reading was actually making higher bottoms out there. 
there, the sign of more counter trend rally. So this was how Stevie, one of the ways that Stevie figured out, you know something, this minus 150, this minus 250 level, they're really key for us to be watching out there. What's the next thing that we figured out? Well, actually, if you kind of go back here, it's, it's not going to be as easy to see, but, but you'll still see it, no matter if you're watching on your phone or your iPad or whatever you might be, or your computer screen or whatever you might be watching on out here. What I want you to notice here is, is here's the 2009 bottom, where my cursor is at. And uh, when what I want you to really know, and by the way, the spot volatility index reading at that stage on March the 9th was uh, 49.68. 49.68. What are we at today? Um, I don't remember what we're at today. I thought I had it out here. I don't have it out here. That's weird. Where did that thing go? Okay, well, it doesn't matter. It's not there. I don't know, it's worth like 20 or something like that. 49. Remember, you know, you talk, you, you, many people, they'll, they'll, they'll talk about, uh, you know, the, it's, it's low, it's at 10 or 13 or 9, and, and you know, and, and, and there's complacency or what have you, as if, as if 50 would be anything but complacency. But what I want you to notice here at the bottom of my screen, the red line is the 50-day exponential moving average. And notice how... The spot volatility index stayed below the 50-day exponential moving average for a good majority of that move between March 9th of 2009 all the way up to that first move high in the uh, May uh, time, June, June, May time frame in, uh, in, tw in uh, 2009 out there. So that's how that other vehicle was determined. It's why you and I take a look at that 50-day exponential moving average for the spot volatility index. But what else did Stevie recognize? What I recognized as well was when that spot volatility which is trading at 2078 out there right now as we speak was above all of its forward futures contracts so if you look at the below the below this level here you'll see that I, we begin in October of 20, 2019 and we take it all the way out to June of 2020 we're at 2081 in the spot VIX. All the forward futures contracts are below that. There, I created this little screen on the bottom right-hand panel that's taking a look at the spot volatility X versus its three-month. You can do it versus its three-month, its six-month, its one-year out there. And when that gets to a reading of plus one, you start looking for bottoms to form. You don't just buy it outright. You look for other types of signals to form inside of the market. Whether I'm not saying a bottom is happening today or it's happening at 1.23 in the afternoon, it could, uh, based on some of the things that we're looking at. That's not what I'm saying. What I don't want you to do is get married to the short side here. I want you to be prudent about uh, your decisions, about using stops, because we go take a look at these patterns. I just took you back to 2007, so you didn't think I was just pulling something out of thin air. I'm here today each and every day to do what I can to help you and protect you and to, and to just simply be the narrator of the charts, recognize these patterns that are out there that help us. Hopefully you'll use them in your future as well to assist you and you'll pass it on to somebody else. This isn't some secret society that we're in, you and I. This is about you and I being able to make money as a team. As far as I'm concerned, we are all on the same team. Now, whether we have different views, that's okay. We're supposed to be able to have different views, for goodness sakes. How else do we learn out here? But look, I, just, I, just, I am saying this stuff, narrating these charts for you, going back and looking at these patterns for your benefit for everybody's benefit. Look, it makes me a better trader as well. Nothing like trying to to uh, talk to somebody about uh, uh, patterns and, uh, and, and, and uh, anyway, like, here's the VIX. I just found it was, I looked over to the right-hand side. Now, we took a look at the support levels. Those were the red lines on the equity futures contracts. If we take a look at where the spot volatility X is bounced up to, 21.15, that's its breakdown level. So Jay, we took a look at the support areas. Those were the red lines on my chart inside the equity futures contracts and now we're taking a look at the spot volatility index and it attaining its breakdown level now if the spot volatility index closes above 2115 it could be a sign of things to come meaning even future moves higher in that spot volatility index but a bottom is in the process of forming not necessarily today in the new york stock exchange it can take several days there's different patterns out there associated with those bottoms but recognize that you now have and you have the js about the one day rate of change in the spot volatility index if we take a look at what went on inside the ES mini. So um, 
I was putting together the newsletter yesterday with my laptop because my, my, as I mentioned to you the night before, I lost power. It's kind of messed up a bunch of uh, uh, things, even though I had backup systems on there. In any event, en enough of that. Jay, uh, as I was writing the newsletter yesterday, uh, what I was uh, sharing with uh, was with. Uh, subscribers was that the ES Mini on its 30-minute base was in the process of forming a uh, Rhodes Momentum indicator pattern. It actually formed, well, let me see, where was it? It was right back here. It actually formed by 5 o'clock uh, last evening out here when we had the bullish reversal signal. And there was like about a 12-point move to the upside. So there was that bit of a counter trend rally. And then as soon as Asia opened up, the markets began selling off. Um, uh, does it matter if you have two days in a row? Now, I don't know what today's reading is going to be right now we're at 11.96% out there. Uh, I originally years ago did a bunch of work to see if you had two days in a row or three days in a row, was there some higher probability? And the answer was there weren't actually enough occurrences to really conclude anything. And so my conclusion was just trade each day differently. That's why we're not prisoners of our past. Can you imagine being a prisoner of your past and trying to navigate these markets? It's all about the new information provided to us. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. David White has had some great trades in his daily trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, and now's a great time to sign up while saving 25%. Just use promo code OPTIONS at checkout and you can save 25% off your first month. And this offer still comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Dave has had some great options and equity winners over the last couple of months. If you'd like to see for yourself the types of option trades he recommends for his subscribers, then check out all the details on the front page of TFNN.com. This offer only runs for one week and ends this Sunday, October 6th, so don't miss out. Head on over to the front page of TFNN.com right now for all the details and to start your 30-day money-back guarantee subscription to the Path of Least Resistance today. Remember to use promo code OPTIONS at checkout. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Folks, so let's get to some of these uh, requests that have uh, come in here. Let's move away from the equity markets. Uh, let's go take a Mike writes in and wants to take a look at uh, Lightsweed Crude. Uh, Ruby wants to take a look at Lightsweed Crude. If we just took a look at this chart here and uh, and uh, tried to figure out what Lightsweed Crude is, what we would know is that it looks like it's headed down towards the support level of its daily profile. That's $51.32 out there. But we're not going to stop there. We're going to go take a look at Stevie's other charts. If we wanted to understand the bigger picture of Lightsweed Sweet crude, what we would do is we would begin by taking a look at the monthly time frame chart. And here's what we know from a monthly time frame perspective of light sweet crude. It is trading between resistance. Resistance was the TD setup breakdown level, 77.54. You can see how price stopped right at that area. This was uh, right here back in uh, October of 2018. Well, we also know it's trading between that and support, and support is 47.21. And that area was tested back in December and January, December of 2018, January of 2019. So 47.21 to 77.54 on the bigger picture, folks, that's what Lightspeed Crude is doing out here. At this stage on the monthly time frame, price below Stevie's red line, which is 5501, says lower price in the bigger picture out there. If we take a look at a smaller picture, we just simply go take a look at the daily time frame chart. It shows that price is traded between support and resistance of its breakdown and breakout levels out here. How does this work? It works, folks. That's the whole thing. It just simply works out here. So price is trading between 62.90 and 51.60. Now, what do we know about the daily chart now that we didn't know when we took a look at CBZ signal chart? Today is going to be bar number nine. Bar number nine of a TD setup nine count pattern. Now, a lower low can occur tomorrow, and it may occur tomorrow. The bar following bar nine can also be the low of a TD setup nine count. Bar 11 eh, negates the whole thing out here. So we have price pulling back to support at 51.60. TD setup nine count that is going to uh, um, culminate uh, today out there. If you're trading light sweet crude or you want to trade light sweet crude, start beginning to look for a bullish position out here and recognize that the first stop, the first area of resistance will be Stevie's red line, which turned red just a couple trading sessions ago. So we also know is that when the price also gets to zero, we know that because the line is a chameleon, not a comedian, a chameleon and changes colors that we should expect price and the line to catch up to each other. That's at 5581. So we should at least see some type of bounce up to that red line above that level then you could open up the Kimona my Sharona and head up to 6290 this is the consolidation pattern that Lightspeed crude is trading within I hope that helps you out Ruby I hope that helps you out uh, Mike in uh, Sarasota Mike I'm gonna skip over your other question at the moment we'll come back to it uh, assuming that we have the uh, time out there but Nick writes I just want to see what the other questions are Nick writes in and says can you take a closer look at the Dow and DAX and tell me what you see and where you think uh, resistance and support levels are. So, Nick, I think we did that, um, you know, by taking a look at the uh, Dow Equity Futures contract. I know you want to take a look at the Dow. I will do that for you. Where do I where where is that chart where I'm looking for a chart that I can. Uh, well, I can do it. I guess I don't want to do, do it that way. Uh, you know what I'm going to do, Nick? Um, I thought I had something that uh, that would be easy for me to run to and clearly. Oh, I didn't save it for some reason. Um, okay, so how's Stevie going to do it? I guess I'm going to do it this way. Let me just take this VIX chart out here. Sorry about that, uh, folks. So let me pull up the Dow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change a few things here. So let's pull up the uh, Dow for you. So what we know on the on the Dow is, well, here, if we take a look at the cash indice, you're asking for support. That level is 25,978.22. That is the breakout level. The actual low that we've seen in the Dow is 25,974.12. So that area there has been uh, tested been tested out here so far rejected if you see it close below that level though it says curtains now what does curtains mean it means okay you could go run back to one of the prior swing areas out here um you know i'd want to get a confirmation august 15th area but look nick in light of what we just took a look at in the spot volatility index uh, out here the one day rate of change and so forth it may take a while to get down there right now the key is that prices have come back to a very logical breakout area. 
And we don't know if they're going to fold, fail, or work. At this stage of the game right now, as of 135 in the afternoon, they have worked out here, or it has worked. Now, you're asking me about the DAX, and I think my DAX chart is not going to update until later on tonight. I will pull up the DAX, because uh, I don't think it had a hammer candle today. And so the uh, support level, and that's what you're asking for, where do I see support inside the DAX? And that would be 11,661.73. Resistance is 12,743.97. Look at how that resistance level for the DAX has worked. So if the resistance level has worked, maybe the support level is going to work too, which takes you back to the Dow. So Nick, I hope that that helps you out with regard to what you're looking at as a closer look as to where support or resistance is for those two instruments. Next question coming in is a request from uh, Dennis. Dennis G writes in and says, uh, I'm looking at OLED. Let me do this here, O-L-E-D. Let me type that in on one of my screens. On the other, let's type that in as well. Then we'll read the rest of the question to see what it is that uh, Dennis is after. So I'm looking at O-L-E-D. looks like it is broken. It's broken. Broken. If you break it, you own it. It's broken and going a lot lower. Well, here's what we know. It's below the daily profile, the weekly profile, and it is trading with inside the monthly profile. So I don't know what a lot lower means, but right now the monthly says headed back to 153.77 or the bottom of its monthly profile, 128.26, a profile that just formed in the month of October. I was originally waiting for a bounce close to the 50 day moving average on the weekly I don't use the, the 50 day I don't use but but okay all right now I'm looking for a bounce to around the 100 173 area and exiting there am I reading this right 173 so you're looking for a bounce okay so it sounds like you're in uh if I properly have uh, interpreted your message out here OLED let's look at the daily chart daily chart I don't see a bottom. I don't see a bottom. I see the top, right? Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. Shooting star, evening star, the whole nine uh, yards out here. Wave number four to the downside. Bar number six of maybe a TD setup nine count. Daily chart uh, says uh, price may come all the way back to the June lows in the 143 level. Forget about 173. At this stage here, we don't see a bottom signal on a daily time frame. Let's go take a look at the weekly time frame. What do we have? Price is trading below its weekly support, 165.36. Dennis, you don't want to see a close below 165.36, says price will have closed below its breakout area. It also has a weekly Rhodes momentum indicator top, big old bearish engulfing candle there. Uh, this would say over the long haul, OLED could easily come back to 82.13. I'm not making that as a forecast just yet. That is just simply its next price target to the downside. If we take a look at the monthly time frame chart out here, well, it's not going to produce a, uh, well, I don't know if it will. Right now, it doesn't look like it will produce a TD setup nine count uh, pattern out here. Uh, but uh, at this stage here, Dennis, I see lower price. I do not see higher price. In other words, I say I do not see a bottom in Universal Display Corp. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Folks, now let's help Dennis out as well because he was asking, hey, could this thing bounce to the 173 area? And if there is a uh, bounce out here, what you're going to be focused on, Dennis, is going to be Stevie's red line. It's currently priced at 172.11. If price moves up a bit, so so too will the the red line. You know, let's not. Uh, uh, and uh, and if price were to close over that, then you could have more counter trend rally. So no bottom, but we can't control what the next move is going to be in the market. What we can do is identify a a tool that has been uh, helpful in, in being able to provide you with the message of the market. See, when the line turns from green to red, as it did back here on September 13th, it tells us of a phenomena. That phenomena is that we should see price and that level catch up to each other. And that's exactly what took place out here on the trading session of September 24th. Price and that line caught up to each other. Now, because the line was red, it was telling us that our price oscillator was below zero. The rejection of that, which was both on the 24th and the 25th of September told you that the pattern was bearish. Why was it bearish? Because there's there's nothing more bearish than a falling price oscillator below zero. That's what we have. You could have an A to B equals CD to the downside. Uh, let's not worry about that. But if there is some type of rally, Stevie's red line is likely going to be your resistance point, currently priced at 172 and some change out there. Lee writes in, Lee B, and he writes in and says, uh, Beautiful day in sunny California. Perfect. Uh, good day here, also in uh, Florida. Gold off to a off to the races again. Is it finally time to jump back into the gold sector, or just a bull trap? Lots of volume uh, picking back up. So. Yesterday, Lee, when we took a look at that uh, specific question, we were looking at the 30-minute time frame chart on the show, and what we were noticing was the uh, was a uh, potential for a Gartley sell pattern. That Gartley sell pattern, ne well, this is the 30-minute chart, never never came into play. We never got the bearish reversal signal out here. And so without that, the Gartley sell pattern didn't take place. There was a TD setup nine count, but it was just the hiccup kind of a move. It just simply moved sideways out here and continued moving higher. Now, as we speak, it looks like there may be another rose momentum indicator top that is trying to form. So we're basically in the same place that we were yesterday afternoon. Again, this pattern doesn't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. And the swing would be some type of bearish reversal candle first. Then you need to close below. 
below Stevie's green line, which is at 1505.60. But with this pattern in play, it's kind of hard to suggest that you get into the trade. The and and it was the 30-minute chart that gave us the sign of the bottom yesterday morning out here, similar to what we're you know trying to watch on all of the futures contracts out here. Um, if we take a look at the 60-minute time frame chart, because it too was identifying the bottom yesterday morning, here's what we're going to see. We're going to see the larger A to B equals CD to the upside. This pattern too, and this would also be a Gartley pattern out here, or could be a Gartley pattern. Um, and so no, just like yesterday, only we're looking at a 30-minute chart. Now I'm looking at the 60-minute chart chart out here. You've got an A to B equals CD pattern that's in play. It's probably only a matter of time before some type of bearish reversal candle forms, although I cannot guarantee it. But if it did, every Gartley pattern has five potential outcomes. Those outcomes could be just a 0.382 retracement, 0 0.618, 0 0.786, the 100% move of move, or really an A to B equals CD to the downside. So is now the time to uh, get in? Um, I, I, can't, I can't give you that signal that now is the time to, to get in. Now, what I will share with you is the following. And this, uh, folks, are for subscribers. As I mentioned this morning, a new profile was attempting to form and that this profile may not take hold or may change. Now, this is my advanced Doppler tool out here. And what you will see, and by the way, it has changed. Let me just turn price off. That way, subscribers know exactly what they are looking at. And this morning, what we had, I believe, was a bearish structured Profile. I, I think it was bearish in structure out here. The center line of that box has moved. It has shifted to basically dead smack in the center, 1504.20. The bottom is 1472.80, and the top is 1535.50. So, Lee, very possible that price is going to make its way all the way up to 1535. Again, I don't control price action, but it's just the patterns that we're taking a look at that, um, you know, you ask me, do you get in now? Here, you, what you've got inside of Goldilocks is a series of lower lows, lower lows, and lower highs out here. And uh, so price may bounce all the way up to 1535 out there, the top of its new daily profile. But I won't know if this profile is really going to form. What do you mean you use an advanced tool? Let me put the other tool up here to show you the profile. And now you'll see it. And so you will see that the one that we were just taking a look at is the advanced Doppler Stevie system out here. At this stage of the game, Lee, if we were only looking at this profile, and it's not wrong to do so, if we were looking at where is it that price would stop on a move higher, it would be the center of that box. And that level is at 1506, and we're trading at 1510. Four dollars, no big uh, shakes out here. Uh, so my my answer to you has got to be the same, and it is uh, no, I don't I don't see I don't see the uh, I don't see it. I don't see it, but I could be blind. I shouldn't really say that after going to see the eye doctor yesterday. But uh, uh, in any event, I, I so so that's what I'm looking at. You're looking at what I'm looking at. If you've got a different analysis, then you know, hunker down. If we take a look at the GDX just out of curiosity, see what it is uh, doing out here. Do we take? Yeah, we took a look at OLED GDX out here. See what it's doing with regard to profiles. So you're asking about the GDX. Of course, I was focusing on gold. What's the GDX doing? Trading below the bottom of its daily profile. Not good. Find support at the bottom of its weekly profile, 2672. So that's okay. Let's go to the GDX over on Stevie's other charts. Let's see what they say. Because in essence, you're really asking about getting into the mining equity out here. What kind of pattern? Do we have any kind of bottoming pattern out here? We don't have anything inside of Stevie's system. What we do have is on the GDX, notice how Stevie's oscillator on change line has turned from green to red. Did that today. So there could be more of a counter trend rally right up to resistance, which is 2797 out there. Now, right now it shows that it's a hammer candle out there. Would that change my mind? No. The only thing that would really change my mind here, uh, Lee, uh, would be um, would be closing over Stevie's red line to 2797. Right now, it looks like just a counter trend rally up to that level before the next sell off takes place or inside of gold. It could be the top of that new profile. Again, I don't know if that is going to form or not. So I hope that that helps you out, at least with regard to the way that uh, Stevie is reading the charts.
We got uh, Jerry writes in, and Jerry wants to take a look at Roku, R-O-K-U. And uh, could I please take a look at it? I can. I uh, don't know what uh, Jerry is uh, looking at, if he's short, if he's long. Uh, at this stage here, my analysis, it really doesn't matter. What do we know about Roku? Trading below the daily profile, and this is a brand new, I'm sorry, trading, it has a brand new profile that just formed. Let me start over. A brand new profile that just formed. The bottom of that box out there is 10101. The top is 10981 out here. Doesn't mean that it's formed a bottom, but it's trading in between support and resistance below the weekly, and there is no monthly profile out here. Has it bottomed? Has Roku bottomed? Isn't that the question? Well, let's see. The low out here was made on bar number eight of a TD setup nine count. This says Roku at least wants to bounce. To where, folks? Stevie's red line, 114.59. Great. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. So for Jerry, we were taking a look at the Roku. And I want to make sure that I was clear. I did not uh, issue like a buy pattern, a buy signal, buy, a, a buy call inside of Roku. It looks like there should be a counter trend rally that would take you up either to the 109.81 level or to the or Stevie's red line at 114.55 as a result of that TD set up a nine count bottom out here. But uh, Roku may have uh, some more gigantic longer term product uh, problems out here. If you take 
take a look at the weekly time frame chart, it tops with a uh, TD setup nine count. Uh, you want to watch 96 bucks, Jerry. That is its last breakout area on its weekly time frame chart. If price closes below you, then you're looking at 61.85 inside of uh, Roku. So uh, right now it looks like just only a counter trend rally uh, versus a uh, bottom. Uh, that signal could change if resistance levels begin to fail. So in the last minute out here, it looks like we're going to get to everything. Let's answer Mike's question about CBL. Uh, so let me type that in here. This is great. Perfect. It worked out great. I think we got to everybody's uh, question. If we didn't, I super apologize. Uh, I thought I got to everybody inside the uh, den. Uh, so this is uh, CBL and Associates, a property real estate company. Um, has it broken its daily uptrend in essence out here? As we take a look at it, here's what's going on inside of CBL on the daily time frame. Uh, it appears that price is, I don't, boy, the daily time frame, I don't have a good read. I don't have a good read. So I'm going to skip the daily time frame. Daily's trading below the uh, bottom of its daily profile that formed yesterday. So that says, okay, this thing may head lower. Weekly time frame out here. You know, would say to me, price may head down to 73 cents out here. I don't have any real clear signals. Price is traded above the top of its weekly box, so that's at the 113 level. Watch that, Mike. If price closes below that, that says 84 cents would be uh, in line out there for ticker symbol CBL. And I don't see a bottom, per se, on the monthly time frame chart, but I need more than just uh, 10 seconds to look at it. Hey, folks, thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear is up next. Tom O'Brien to take us on home. I'll be back with you at 1 o'clock on Terrific Thursday. Have a uh, wonderful Wednesday. Look forward to seeing you soon.